Hello everyone and welcome to another unboxing and review. Today we're going to be looking at Missile Command. This is uh, my new Wave Toys. This is the Field Test Edition. I did do the Standard Edition video. I'll leave a description uh, below with the link to that video. Today we're looking at the Missile Command Field Test Edition. Basically the prototype of Missile Command that Atari released in the arcade. It didn't even really release, didn't even release at all, but this is their prototype. The big difference between looking at the standard edition and this one is the big old marquee with all the little um, we'll show we'll, we'll, we'll see it you'll see it right there in the front you can see it's Miss Command you got all the little colors and all that good stuff on the top of top of the screen that's the one major big difference between the prototype um, and the one that was finally in production but as you look at the box we turn it around here uh, New Wave Toys does always a great job of um, Presenting this uh, their their product, this one six scale arcade mini arcade machine, with the artwork kind of reflecting exactly what the the arcade, the actual whatever game they're releasing, will show. So always does an outstanding job with these um the packaging overall. So the way these open up, um, they open up from the side. I'll look for it here. It is, and the unique thing about their packaging always as we open this up, they always do a nice some artwork before you get actually into the product itself. So really nice touch that New Wave Toys always does with all their, their 1-6 scale replicate line of um, arcade machines. Missile Command, if anyone's not, miss, um, it's, a, it's a classic game. Came out in, I think in July 1980 when it first released. And as we open this up, you can see there is an instruction manual and they also include always these little 1-6 scale, little tiny little coins with all their their replicate art arcade machines, which is pretty cool. They're using plastic, um, but as we open this up, we'll kind of flip through it real quick. And usually these manuals, they're, they they can be many pages, but usually it's the first two three pages is in, is in English, and the rest of the manual is pretty much in different languages. But you can kind of show, and just that they usually show in the inside cover. You saw the upcoming arcade machines are going to be releasing, and you can see it's just. Basically giving you all the, the stats, you know, the menus or options and what have you on it. So yeah, the rest is just all different languages. So we won't go through the whole manual it's per se. But and as, as I mentioned earlier, I'm gonna take out here these little replicate, these little replica coins. They're really neat. They actually include these little plastic coins. So pretty neat. Um, so first thing is. This is battery powered, a lithium ion uh, rechargeable batteries in these arcades. So there's a USB recharging cord they include with all these units. And as we take it out, this does have the original ROM. So the playability of this is exactly what you saw in the full size arcade machine. You're going to see that um, the sounds, play, everything, the looks, graphics, what you saw in the full size arcade is pretty much replicated. Not replicated, but. Pretty much you're going to be playing the exact same game that was on the full-size arcade machine. So, now these are actually they're made of different materials. Use wood, metal, and plastic. And as we open this bag up, well protected in that box, so usually come in pretty good shape. And I've been buying these, as you can see on the, each side of the all the different other units they've done, centipede and so forth. Um, there is the um, the whole unit itself, very nicely done. And we'll, um, look at the coin door. And the coin door is usually the one that actually has, it's the material is made of metal. So it's kind of cool that they you always put this little hidden little door if you want to put your coins in there, what have you. You can, and there you kind of see the field test edition, um, the different marquee look, looking at the trackball, just exactly what you're going to see in the full size has been pretty much scaled down to this miniature 1 6 scale. The artwork is pretty much identical to the full size machine. And there's the power button. They have the volume control there, or actually the little LED for power, and there's a volume control on the opposite side, speaker, and and there's a recharge charger port on this one. So yeah, just a really nice little unit. Um, like I said, the main difference visually is basically the marquee on the top the field test. It's got all the almost like a command board or something. You can see the speakers there, little little faux speakers. That's where the, the actual speakers would be in the full size machine. Replicated very nicely. And we'll take off this plastic film off the 
the screen. And one thing about this Missile Command and then the Standard Edition, <clears throat> it's kind of first time that New Waves has done that, where they've kind of tried to replicate a CRT, because these are LEDs screens. As we take that off, you can kind of see the screen. It's kind of like a, almost like a almost like a magnifying. It's kind of con, you know, convexed, um, but um, yeah, some people may not like that. I mean, I'd, I'd give them kudos for trying to kind of you know they has to, you can see the reflections are a little bit off, different because the, they're trying to emulate a CRT. I mean, it doesn't really affect it when you're playing it. It doesn't you know doesn't give it any kind of distortion or anything onto it. Um, but yeah, some people may not like that, but I don't mind it. It's, it's just trying to be, you know, trying to replicate a, a CRT, which is really an LED on this this particular unit. So, as we power it on, you kind of see the lights turn on, the coin. Um, it goes through this little power cycle, and uh, but yeah, you can see right there, definitely different. Um, the new wave toys, you can see the the board light up on the top, the marquee, and that's the main difference in the field test edition, which is the prototype. That Atari came out with. It does have the logo. It had the, as you saw earlier, the New Wave Toys logos on there. But everything else is pretty much identical to exactly what you're going to uh, see in the full size arcade, which is great about these little units. Actually, you can play them. You know, you can not only display them, but you can also play them as well. Like I say, the sounds, everything is definitely on on point. So now we're going to go through the the menu. You can see the menu. You can do you know the marquee. You can turn it off and on. So there's a lot of different options, uh, trackball sensitivity, trackball, you know, the extra large, replicated track mode audio, there's even a number of cities you can add to it, bonus cities, and even the uh, result high, you know, the reset the high scores. So very, really cool, like they got a menu, you can actually make some different options. But we're going to just kind of demonstrate in this next half of the video, doing some gameplay and kind of showing you what, what's all involved. Yeah, as you can see, the gameplay is spot on. I mean, I might be rough around the edges because I've only played this a few... It's been years since i played this, and the only, last time I played it was the standard edition, and the last video I did, it's been a year since i played this. But, yeah, overall, New Wave Toys always does a great job on these little, you know, miniature, mini miniaturized, one six scale arcade machines. It's like you're playing the, the original arcade game um, in this smaller scale. So... They do a great job um, overall. Just been very pleased with this, and so there should be available on their website. I know they had a sale this last time, the Black Friday and stuff. These I know these are just re recently released. I bought this as a bundle with uh, the standard edition. So uh, these I got these on the pre-sale. So they do have pre-sales if you're looking at future uh, units. They sometimes we'll do a pre-sale, which is a little bit cheaper. Which I always do the pre-sale. I've done. I've been a Kickstarter backer back in the day when they're first centipede and so forth. But yeah, overall great little um, arcade machine uh, thank you for sticking around and do be sure to hit that subscribe button for future videos hit the notification bell for any videos I post later and um, as always thank you for watching and I'll see y'all in the next one take care